Red Dirt Roots is presented by Eskridge Chevrolet. We have the Chevy for you in Gunther. Auto FX in El Reno. Take whatever you ride or drive to the next level. Cook, feed, and outdoor in Oklahoma City and Yukon. Lucky Lure Tackle, shop where the pros shop. And Central New Holland for all your equipment needs. When we were young and growing up in the outdoors, we weren't dreaming about trophy racks and record books. We were just dreaming about adventures. Well, look before the mud crack at dawn. I got my real tree camo and scent block on. My kids right beside me in my tree stand, clutching that 243 from my old man. Those red tablets take me away. To my camel to fly to that old fishing hole Nature creepin's on a thing I know But I can't get there Without these red dirt roots Put the food on the table It's what I do I'm stocking game like a chicken saw I'm not used to Living off the land is my gift from God Packing heat with my rock All my fishing around Those red dirt roots Take me where I wanna go To my camel to fly to that old Nature creepin's on the thing I know, but I can't get there without these red dirt roots. On today's show, first we're heading to Keystone Lake with Varsity Fishing. Then we'll be heading to Lake Texoma with Operation Freedom Outdoors. want to take your boat to the next level, Auto FX and El Reno can do it. Auto FX of El Reno designed and fabricated this fully submersible LED light rail from the bottom of this boat trailer. Not only making it look like one of a kind, but also easily loaded. Auto FX El Reno. They can take it to the next level. I'm Tommy Dillon with Central New Holland here in Oklahoma City. Many people come by the store wanting to know what size tractor they need for a food plot. Well, this is the perfect size. 35 horsepower, four-wheel drive, shuttle transmission. You can put a tiller on it, a brush hog. It comes with a front-end loader. A front-end loader comes real, real handy when you want to put in corn in your feeder, put up your feeder, and when you kill that deer, it's a good handy way to move that deer to the shade to process it. On the first half of our show today, we're going to be headed to Keystone Lake with Varsity Fishing. Kenan Hill and Brian Moorhead put together some fantastic events for the youth fishermen. Hi folks, my name's Kenyon Hill and this is Varsity Fishing. We had 35 pros show up today to take some kids out fishing and we had a wonderful event. Lots of prizes for the kids, a little bit of money for the pros and lots of camaraderie. You heard him right, 35 professional fishermen from around the country came together to take out youth fishermen from high school teams across the state. Now tell me what you think about today, what, what's the weather going to do? Um, uh, there's supposed to be some storms going on, I think, but I think whatever the weather does, as long as there's not a lot of lightning, it seems like sometimes fish don't like all that thunder and lightning, but if we, if we can, honestly, I wish we'd get like a, just kind of a steady rain, a real steady rain. One, because I like fishing in it, and two, because a lot of people don't like fishing in it, and I like that. That'll take like half the field. The event started with a morning lineup of all the fishermen and their team member as they take off for the start of the tournament.
team spread out the lake in search of the big bass. Now a storm had just come through and it made the fishing a little tough. I'm Jared Miller. I'm Lane Chapman. And uh, we had a tough day. Um, it's fun though, caught a bunch of fish. Uh, lost a big one right at the boat, and uh, but it was a blast. Okay, had a, had fun, fun. Totally fun. I agree, totally agree. <laughs> yes. We caught we caught all ours on a two inch Ned rig. Yep. All of our fish today. So get it wet. Go throw it. They'll eat it. <laughs> We saw a lot of moving around as the normal places just didn't seem to be working today. Uh, it was a pretty tough day today, but uh, he managed to put a keeper in the boat. I lost a couple this morning, caught what, two catfish and a monster crappie. Yep. But uh, we broke down about 11, so we were without a trolling motor over half the day. It was a little tough, especially in this wind. When you're seeing all them little fry busted shallow, <laughs> downsize your baits. It'll make a difference. Whenever the fishing's tough, go finesse. Ned rig, throw on a small swim bait. Finesse fishing always makes it better. You always catch something finesse. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the fishing may have been a little tough, but that didn't stop these guys from doing the work and doing their best to make a strong showing. We just finished weighing, up, weighing in up here at uh, Keystone for this high school pro deal, and uh, man, it still was a lot of fun. This is JT, this is the guy I fished with today. Um, we, we didn't get off to a very good start, so it took a little while uh, to get going. We finally finally messed around, he caught us one, and then we, we caught him mainly this afternoon. Um, it, was, uh, it, it wasn't as good as I was expecting, but anyway, once again, really fun event. Love the format, would love to do this again. Uh, hopefully we get to do three or four or five of these a year. Uh, today we wound up uh, catching most of them cranking with a little square bill, uh, a couple different miles of square bill. I thought we was going to catch them on a jig. It's kind of what I had practiced and uh, felt like it was going to be pretty strong and never got a jig bite today. So we just both kind of picked up a square bill and covered a bunch of water. and. Uh, Hello, I'm Sean Goodwin. I'm here today at Keystone Lake fishing the uh, high school fishing tournament with Cade Smith. We had a great time today. We caught a, caught a limit of keepers that weighed 1265. Started off this morning, Cade caught one on a topwater, then he caught one on a spinnerbait, and then I got in on the action a little bit, caught a couple on a buzzbait. We just kept fishing all day and it was pretty slow on us. We caught two or three here just uh, after that. Caught a couple more on a spinnerbait, a couple more on a buzzbait. But we just stuck out here on these windy rocks all day. And uh, telling you what, 14 years old, Cade's a pretty, pretty sharp little fisherman right here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in the future. Just new experiences, new lake, new, new fishing partner. Just new water, everything. Awesome experience learning new things. Just starting off the day well, ending well. 1265, that's nothing better you can ask for. Yep. Now, the big deal today was fishing the wind. Uh, the, you see there's a lot of shad spawn on the rocks, so the main thing on today like today, the lake's coming down, there wasn't a lot of cover in the water, focus on the wind and fish, and fish the wind and that's going to help you a lot. Hey guys, Zeke Anderson here with the Bass Tank. Super excited to be out here at Keystone Lake. Got the uh, Oklahoma Bass Nation event going on where the high school seniors had an opportunity, opportunity to come out here and fish with a professional bass fisherman. It's a very cool deal that these guys put together. We've got 35 of the top pros in the four or five state region here. Um, out here competing with these high school kids, showing them a good time. Seasons got cut short this year because of the, the virus and everything that was going on. Um, we're out here with the Bass Tank. Uh, super happy to be able to sponsor this event, be one of the sponsors of this event. Uh, for you, those of you that don't know what the Bass Tank is, we sell fishing electronics. Um, 
you know, specializing in Garmin LiveScope and Humminbird Mega 360 and Humminbird's Mega Imaging. So it's got a great turnout so far. I'm going to be up there on stage doing some MCing. We'll see how that goes. But guys, look us up, the Bass Tank. Like us on Facebook. Check out our YouTube channel. A lot of good tips and tricks out there for you. Appreciate it, guys. Glad to catch you on. Luke Palmer, Bassmaster Elite Series from Colgate, Oklahoma. Uh, Boston Bayless, a high school angler from Weatherford, Oklahoma. Had a great day. You know, Boston came around, caught some good fish today for us. We got the Oregon Jiu Jitsu jig out through that, put a young money crawl on the back of it. You know, we just caught quite a few fish, had a good time. I and mean, we had a good time. And I mean, the crowd that people come out and show at, show support for these kids. And you know, it's about maintaining the sport and you know, and passing on these guys. And also, this is another bait we caught them on. It's the boss bait crawl. I make these myself, so I can make them in any color. We put them on the back of a jig. We we're just pulling them through the rocks and they would just hit it and stick okay, them and pull them in the boat. Bossbaitsco.com. Check me out. Thank you. Brandon Pettigo here, BASS from Lawton, Oklahoma. Joseph Case, high school angler from Manfred, Oklahoma. I want to give a shout out to Brian Moorhead. He did a really good job putting this together. Uh, had a great turnout with the fans. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, today was a little bit tougher than what I expected for a fishing day. Uh, we zigged and zagged and, and never really run into the pot of fish that we wanted to find. And finally ended up running into a few fish at the end of the day. We we're catching fry garters in about one to three foot of water on a square bill. Well, as you can tell, both the pros and their young fishing partners had a great time. What an opportunity for these young fishermen to fish with a pro. species of fish in this lake. Um, it was tough out there, but we ended up catching four on a deep rock, throwing a uh, Ned rig and shaky head. And, uh, tell him to quit that. Did you tell him that you hit me a couple times? No, uh, I did hit him a couple times on the hook set. Hook set, set. yeah, he's a powerful hook set. And, and I wore one right here for a little bit, like jewelry. But uh, it, it's a lot of fun to go out with high, with the high school kids. He's, he's anything but a novice angler. He's got his own boat. He fishes like I did when I was his age. But uh, it's so cool to be able to see these kids and get excited about this, uh, around with guys. And, and hopefully he learned something today. We had a good time. Uh, he learned a little bit of how to run a river and uh, get to places where you probably shouldn't go. But we, we tried it out today and just couldn't make them bite up there, but we had a great day. I did. Appreciate Thank you very much. We're going to do some more fishing when we get back to morning. Thanks, good. All right, here we are. That's number one place. With a weight of 15.77 pounds, Mr. Luke Palmer and Mr. Boston Bayless. Where's Mr. Kenyon Hill? The 30-year legend himself. I, Tyler Butcher, Mayor of the City of Manfred, on behalf of the citizens of Manfred and the Town Board, do hereby proclaim May 24, 2020, Kenyon Hill Day. Congratulations. This is kind of what varsity fishing is all about, getting kids involved in fishing. We do it through uh, educational seminars, we do it through tournaments like these, and we're going to have some tournaments that are uh, for scholarship money. So this is just the finger of the fist, and we're going to help drive home how great the sport of fishing is to the, for the youth of America. If you are a wild game hunter, you are going to want to look at a Traeger grill. Now, I've cooked a lot of elk and deer on my Traeger grill, and one perfect technique to use is you can put it on this grill and do what's called a reverse sear. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a smoke mode for 15, 20, 30, 45, 2 hours, however long you have, take it off, crank the grill up to 500 degrees, put it back on and do a reverse sear. T cooking wild game with a smoky flavor is the best way, I think, to get all of that gamey taste out of it if you shot a big, nice buck and want a way to make a perfect steak. Thank you for watching. Come visit us at Cook, Feed, and Outdoor.
Mickey Lure Tack, Oklahoma's premier supplier of quality fishing equipment and tackle. Whether you're a beginning fisherman or a tournament pro, Lucky Lure Tackle has the equipment and expertise to help you catch more fish. Lucky Lure's knowledgeable and friendly staff can help you find the equipment you need with aisles and aisles of quality fishing equipment and tackle, all at great prices. They can even re-spool your reels and recycle your old fishing line. Lucky Lure Tackle, the corner of Britain and May in Oklahoma City, or check them out on the web at lltackle.com. Now in this segment of the show, we join Operation Freedom Outdoors as they do a thank you fishing trip for some of their sponsors and they take along some of the veterans. Today they're fishing with Daniel's Striper Guide Service. As you can tell, it didn't take them long to get on fish. And it's a beautiful morning out on the lake. under it's really good. Let them uh, pull that rod tip down to the water and then give them a good hard hook set. And as you can see they just keep pulling in the fish. And if you've never had the opportunity to fish for striper, you don't know how hard of a fighting fish they are. And everybody's having a great time as they just pull in fish after fish. Now, if you're not familiar with Operation Freedom Outdoors, they set up hunting and fishing trips for veterans and active military. They also work as a support group for the military brothers and sisters to help them overcome the stresses of the military life through the outdoors. The founders, Matt and Wes, do a great job, and here at Red Dirt Roots, we're proud to be associated with them. Be sure and check them out, and do your part to support this great group. Oh, good. Oh. 
Good fish. That day when we were fishing, we did a Facebook Live, and some of the people said we should turn off that motor. Well, that motor duplicates a feeding frenzy of striper and helps pull in the fish, so yeah, we're probably not going to turn it off. We were on two boats, and both the guides from Daniel's Striper Guide Service did a great job of keeping the hooks baited and helping pull in the fish. We caught a lot of striper and we also caught a few catfish. Well, as the morning progressed, that spot slowed down. So they went looking for another spot where the fishing might be a little better. And it didn't take long before they were back on fish. Big time, man, blackout. And if you're looking for a great fishing experience, be sure and check out Daniel's Guide Service. As you can tell, they keep them on the fish.
right hand side. It's a blue cat smoke. Brandon Daniels, Daniels Trapper Guide Service. Good day on the water. It's Riley. Riley Daniel, Daniel Striper Guide Service. Another good day on Lake Texoma. I'm Wes uh, with Operation Freedom Outdoors. Uh, we are here with some uh, veterans and, and some guys who helped us out over the years. Um, doing uh, veteran hunting and fishing trips for a 501c3 uh, organization. And uh, we're out here at Lake Texoma with Daniel's Guide Service, uh, having a great time with uh, Red Dirt Root Outdoors TV. Um, we had a great day on the water. It's been lots of fun, lots of laughs, big smiles. And after catching all those fish, Daniel's Guide Service lays them up, puts them in plastic bags for them, and you load them up in your ice chest. When you go home, you have a freezer full of fish. Had a great time out on Texoma today. Took some veterans and took uh, pretty much all of our sponsors and support our organization out. Had a great time fishing, slayed the fish, and then make it back in time for breakfast. Can't be that. Red Dirt Roots is presented by Eskridge Chevrolet. We have the Chevy for you in Guthrie. Auto FX in El Reno. Take whatever you ride or drive to the next level. Cook, feed, and outdoor in Oklahoma City and Yukon. Lucky Lure Tackle, shop where the pros shop. And Central New Holland, for all your equipment needs.